guys, so I'm gonna try something new in this video. I'm actually going to talk. Um, if you don't like the sound of my voice, that's okay. If you would prefer me to edit in everything I'm doing in words, just let me know in the comments below. But today I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy and quick galaxy background in Prismacolor. We're gonna start off with some deco pink. And I'm just going to make some really random shapes. And I mean really random. The whole point of a galaxy is that there is no right or wrong way to do it. What I am going to be doing is I'm going to be leaving uh, a white space. Uh, so I'm sort of going to do these rings of pink with the white in the middle. That's going to be the brightest spots. If you look at galaxies, they tend to have really bright spots where the stars are really concentrated. using really light pressure. As you can see, the pencil is on its side. It's literally just coming up with some weird random shapes. No right or way, no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, that's pretty good. Next up is pink. And it's going to start deepening a little bit now. So I am going to leave an edge of the deco pink. But I'm going to deepen up most of it with this pink. And don't worry, it looks really sketchy right now, but layers is going to fix that. I'm going to blend that out with the deco pink. Okay. Next up is Parma Violet. So we're going into the purplish tones. Again, I'm leaving a ring of pink and this doesn't go all the way up to the edge. So every time you do a colour, you don't go up to the exact edge of the last colour. You want to see the transition of colours. Unsurprisingly, I'm going to blend that out as I just layer everything. Just the way I colour, you don't have to do it this way.
Okay, so after that, it, we've got um, violet. I'm using the luminance violet because that's just the one I grabbed. Uh, you can use the you can totally use uh, the Prismacolor violet. They're practically the same color. This is to really deepen up some of these edges. It's a gorgeous purple, really deep. And it's also, it's a, it's a pink purple, it's not a red purple. It's a red purple rather than sort of a blue purple, which is what I want. There's not much blue in this particular galaxy. You can add in blues if you want to. Back with Palmer Violet to blend. And Palmer Violet blends so well with Violet. They're only a, they're only a few shades different. Okay, so this is ultramarine, and I am going to bring in this touch of blue to help focus, there we go, to help with the transition into our darkest tone. The uh, reason I chose ultramarine though is the fact that it is a blue-violet. It's not that blue. It's going to darken things, but it's not going to add too much blue. Because on, on the recent page I did with this combination, I really didn't want um, the blue to stand out. I just wanted it to be these sort of pinks and purples. All right, and now our deepest color is going to be black. There we go. Um, I'm using the um, Lightfast Doran Lightfast Black. Again, you can use any black you want. Luminance, Prismacolor. I've just picked up this one because it sharpens. You don't want a ton of this colour. I just use a little bit on the edges where I just want those really dark spots. Okay, so right now that looks a little bit, it looks a bit messy, but we're going to clean this up. We are going to clean it up. We're going to blend this out so it's nice and smooth. So first I'm going in with the ultramarine. When I did this actually on my colouring page from uh, Circle of Life, I actually used Blender. It was a blending solution. I used, uh, in the UK, you can get something called Zest It, which is this um, orange oil blender blending solution. It's really good. But I wanted to show you that you could get the same effect without a blender. Hence the reason that I'm doing all these layers. <laughs> the blending solution does save you a lot of time, so I do recommend it. But we will get there. We will clean this up. You can see it's blending already very nicely.
that's a good thing of doing sort of this kind of background in wax pencils is they do blend really smoothly into one another. You could probably get the same effect in polychromos, but it would take a lot longer because you'd be layering more than blending. I mean, I'm layering here, but I think I layer with uh, with wax pencils. <laughs> you haven't seen me layer with oil pencils. I am there forever. And you can add in more of one colour if you want more. If you want it to be more purple, you can put in more purple. You can put in more pink. Like I said, you can put in more blue. You could even put in a touch of red. Red would look nice. This is quite smooth paper, so... That's why I'm getting a bit of pencil residue. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, it, you could um, use white to blend out the deco pink. I didn't bother. I think it looks fine as it is. You could also use, if you've got it, the luminance pink white. That would be perfect for blending that out but I wanted to keep this as simple as possible with as few pencils as possible so it probably doesn't look ton like a galaxy at the moment but that's where the Posca pen comes in I'll just give this a shake and we're gonna start adding adding just random dots to make stars and you can literally just go crazy at this point you can add in as many or as few as you want you can add in some big ones little ones you can make little constellations lots you can do you don't have to use a posca you could use white gel pen you could use acrylic paint if actually, if you spattered acrylic, white acrylic paint, you could get a really sort of natural, crazy effect. And I've also got a, um, a gold gel pen here. And put in a few gold dots, especially sort of where the galaxy is lighter, where it's got those bright spots. Just sort of gives it sort of this mystical, magical effect, which I quite like. Um, that is literally it. That is how I did it. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, um, let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you.